And the first card that you've got is the judgment card. So this is about being faced uh, with a decision. You've got some kind of crossroads in your life. Um, you know, you're ending something and you're going to be starting something else. So uh, you're at a turning point in your life right now. There's a journey coming up for you. So there's more travel. There's more freedom coming up for you. So you could be taking a holiday or you could be doing some kind of business travel as well. Something foreign, really, going to a foreign country. A lot of power is coming to your hand, uh, so or it will be coming in. So you are being empowered again. And maybe this is uh, this decision that you're going to be making is going to be the one that gives you the power in your hand again. So in the past, you've got the battle. So you have been facing a lot of problems. You've had to stand up for yourself. Uh, and it looks like you've been standing alone as well. So going through a lot of problems. It seems like money has come in. There's been some kind of stability. Or maybe you've been having some problems uh, with regards to finances as well with this wealth card uh, next to the battle. You've had to fight uh, to get where you want to get to on a financial basis. Now, going into the future, you've got the change. So big changes coming in. Whatever this decision is that you're going to be making, like I said, it might involve travel, but there's a big change coming in with that decision there. Um, you know, just watch out for people gossiping uh, around you. So people are saying a lot of things around you with the scandal card, uh, you know, doing it behind closed doors. Um, so uh, there's a lot of whatever de decision that you're making right now, maybe a lot of people not on board with it. Uh, they've got a lot of things to say, but you know, it's time for you to ignore what everybody else says and do what you know is right for you. And this is the thing that will give you the power. Empowerment means that you can make decisions by yourself without having to be influenced by anybody else. And that's where you need to be at the moment. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is really good because that means big changes are coming in for you. Uh, you are living behind very, very difficult situations because this, you've got the Six of Swords, which uh, follows the Five of Swords. So having gone through a lot of problems, there may have been a lot of legal issues that you may have been facing. You've got the Caduceus standing over there. So there's a new job that's going to be coming in on offer over there. There's still a lot of people causing a lot of issues there with you. You can see the swords are still pointing at you, but you're getting your balance back again. So this is a very positive card, moving away from difficult situations, maybe even traveling away from difficult situations into a new job or a new um, something new. Uh, it looks like you have been facing some legal issues over there with that King of Swords immediately under it. and But balance coming in because you've got that sign of Libra on his um, shirt there. So this looks like some legal decisions that you have been facing and getting your balance back again. News has come in as well. Gemini sitting in uh, Taurus there shows that there's been a lot of problems with your personal finances as well. And maybe this is, uh, you know, you've had to go to court with regards to that. But you are getting over it over there. Uh, there's been, you know, sudden news coming in as well with the Six of Swords. So there's news coming in. It's going to bring, bring big changes for you and possibly travel with that Mercury going in there and uh, you've got that wheel of fortune ruled by jupiter so expansion a positive change coming in for you there uh, and on the work front you, if you look at this wheel on the top of the wheel is the capricorn card so the focus for you right now is on your work uh, and your career uh, more than anything else so you have been um, you know have undergone a great change on the financial front there so oops <sighs> What's happening for you? You've got the hermit. This is about going it alone, leaving things behind and moving on in a new direction or a new path. This could also be, you know, you spending a lot of time by yourself. This could be, uh, you know, that you're even undertaking some course of study uh, or learning as well. Um, and it could be, you know, to do with finances. You're certainly doing some kind of financial review over here. Your focus is on your career because you've got the sun sitting there in Capricorn over there. You're trying to acquire wealth. You're trying to, um, you know, get yourself established, get your secure established as well there might be somebody that you're going for some kind uh, to for some kind of financial advice as well you can see this woman's asking this man what he thinks about things so it it seems like you know you are focused on it this could be an interview that you're going through um and uh, uh you know it seems like if you're going for an interview you might end up getting that job and it's going to bring you a lot of stability and help you as far as your career path goes if it is an interview that you're going for uh whatever this new job is it's going to mean that you can do some further study or further training as well. 
Now, in the past, you've got the Ten of Swords, so you suddenly have ended a situation. Uh, there's been, there was so much of conflict, so much of drama. You can see there's so many swords coming up at this man. The Sun in Gemini, there was a lot of problems with communication. Uh, maybe they said a lot of things. There was a lot of criticism that came out of the situation. And it was altogether a really nasty situation, but that has now come to an end. It's finished and done with. Uh, there was a lot of loss as well that came with that Ten of Swords. Um, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, so this is again focusing on your career. So this could have been a problem that happened at work and maybe you've lost that job because there was a lot of drama there. Um, and you are now back on track again as far as your money goes. You've got Capricorn and you've got Sagittarius here with these two uh, energies going on. So you are uh, focusing a lot more on that career, on that coin at the moment and coming out of it. Uh, whatever position you're getting or you've gotten recently... It looks like that it's uh, allowing you to, um, you know, shine, but it's also bringing in money. It's some kind of job that involves a lot of management of people and resources. And you're having to be uh, very, very um, strategic um, and very organized uh, in dealing with things in this new job. So uh, it seems like, you know, you are now very, very focused on that career. So you've got the Prince of Wands over here. You might be thinking of actually moving on to another country. Um, and starting on a new different path there and doing this job somewhere else. You're certainly making plans for the future, um, but it looks like you might be moving to another country and doing this job there. The focus is a lot on yourself and uh, focus um, a lot on your uh, personal career uh, goals really there with that Prince of Wands. But this always talks about moving and doing the job in a foreign country. So that's what's in your mind. You're thinking of maybe traveling somewhere else. Uh, maybe starting afresh in a new country. You've got the Princess of Wands. So this is your card. Uh, and this is about uh, being given an offer. You can see this wand has got a little bit of, you know, a few thorns on it. So, you know, it's not it's not an offer that is everything that is cut out to be. Or uh, maybe it's everything that you want. But it's certainly a beginning, a fresh start somewhere else. And it's going to put you, um, you know, in charge. Uh, and it's a, a job that you will be able to shine in. Uh, you know, a lot of people will have a lot of uh, respect for you, a lot of recognition coming in over there um, and something very, very dynamic uh, as well. Uh, so, you you know, you'll be able to, um, you know, communicate, travel a lot. Uh, certainly the news is coming in with that Princess of Wands. Um, and, you know, it's it's something well worth looking. It's going to give you a lot of freedom, whatever this new job is. You need to hang in there. You, you know, you've gone through a lot. Been there, got the t-shirt uh, with this uh, strength card here. You need to focus on yourself. Uh, so from everything that you've gone through, there's something to take. There is a take-home message that, you know, you have what it takes. You can see there's a volcano in the background over there. So this is talking about all the difficulties that you've been, been through. You've been through a lot. There's a choice coming in for you as well there. Uh, and make sure you're thinking very logically when you do things. Uh, turn your back on that past as well. Uh, and you do have the strength. You do have what it takes in order for you to succeed. But you just need to have that resilience and hang in there. You've got the Three of Cups. This is um, more for celebration card. You might be moving home as well. You've got Mercury sitting there in Cancer. Um, but it's also about friends and people uh, supporting you. So there's that support that is coming in for you there. You want a new job. This is on your mind. Uh, maybe you're pursuing a new career direction or even going for a promotion. So this is what your hopes are that you know you can progress and that new money will come in as well. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got that five of swords, the nine of pentacles and the high priestess. So whatever happened had got you completely down on the ground. You can see this five of swords. This person is lying flat on that pentacles. So, you know, financially you have gone through a lot of loss. Uh, and, you know, there's been a, maybe a, dealing with a lot of legal issues or a lot of battles. You can see there's absolutely no vegetation around here. So it seems as though uh, it was such a nasty battle and you have gone through so much of loss and, you know, you ha it's brought you down to your knees or it's brought you uh, down to ground level. So, you know, a, a lot of problems that have happened. You've got Venus there with uh, in Aquarius and Aquarius is uh, ruled by Uranus. And there's been sudden changes with that finance because Venus rules money and, you know, Uranus is about sudden changes, dramatic changes. So that's what happened. These were events that were beyond your control and it caused a lot of loss uh, personally with your security, uh, maybe with even home. 
uh, but you know you've suffered a lot financially and maybe you've gone through a lot of legal issues as well you're coming out of it though because you've got that nine of pentacles so venus again finances are going to improve but there might be some study that you need to do some further training that you might need to do this is independence this is about working alone and this is about achieving things so where you go from the five of swords to the nine of pentacles is really good because we are here there's nothing in the background and here she's got this really lovely garden and uh, there's a home and there's a car in the background over there so coming from a state of nothing things are going to change very dramatically for you uh, this new job or whatever you're going to be doing is going to bring in a lot of wealth a lot of recognition and a lot of financial independence you just need to keep going follow your instincts and like i said there might be some further uh, study that is associated with this job so trust in your instincts, um, get your balance back again and try not to be emotionally um, attached to the old situation. So cut it off. Uh, so this is the beginning, Alpha and the Omega really. Uh, so the beginning and the end. So this is the end of a difficult situation, but it's up to you uh, to use everything that you've learned uh, in order for you to move forward. And like I said, trust in your gut instincts. The high priestess is about somebody spending a lot of time by themselves and being focused uh, and you can see with that Nine of Pentacles also, it's a card of being uh, alone and going for things that you want. Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like there's much support around you. There's a lot of single cards there. So there's the Princess of Wands, it's High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles. These are all single people. Uh, so you're doing it by yourself and you're going to be coming up by yourself. Uh, you know, and you are going to recover from whatever the situation was. The Wheel of Fortune is stepping in to help you there. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the... Um so the first card is communication. So good news from a distance. Communication about love or business. You are open to new ideas or options. A line of communication is established with a friend or a loved one. So it might well be that you are thinking of doing a job uh, in a new country and it might be that you start a new job in a new country because there's good news coming in from a long distance uh, positive news as well so if you have been applying for a job overseas it seems like that's the way to be going because this change is very dramatic from the five of swords to this nine of pentacles so having nothing and into going to something that's having everything means that this new job that is coming in for you whatever this new money is that is going to come in is going to bring that dramatic change for you and you've got the guidance cards someone is about to enter your life as a teacher a great opportunity to advance you may decide to go back to school um, to further your education guidance can come in many forms listen to your intuition so that high priestess is telling you that um guidance coming in for you you need to trust your own intuition um and uh there is some there is some learning that is coming in so there's some training coming in um, so whatever this new job is there might be some training or learning attached to it you've got completion over here a uh, time of reward opportunity success love money good health a stranger brings in good news the completion of lessons finally learned a feeling of self-satisfaction concerning a job well done so the cycle is finished and you can see with that Ten of Swords, it is over and done with. You have finished and learned very, very difficult lessons. There's a lot of swords flying around here. There was a lot of critical people, people that said things. There may have been legal problems that you had to deal with, but you've certainly been through the mill and that cycle is now completing and you are now going to move into something much more positive uh, so you know don't be upset uh, and don't be deterred uh, be very hopeful for the future because it's about to change for the better for you so i'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, animal tarot and the first card is the two of winter which says procrastination and worrying about what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your desires and someone else's, follow your own guidance. So whatever the decision is, it's up to you to make it. And you need to be logical when you make this choice. And you need to think about yourself. So take a step back from the emotions. Don't let anybody else's um, needs influence you. You need to make a decision for yourself. You've got the seven of winter over here. So caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. The seven of winter is always about deception and deceit going on around you. So, you know, don't trust anybody. This is a, a time for you to be very, very vigilant uh, about what people are doing. They have really, really bad motives and they're trying to get as much as they can out of you. Uh, and you need to look after yourself. So, um, uh, you know, be on the alert, really, with that seven of winter. You've got the king of winter, so it's a time... 
Uh, at this time, it is very important for you to communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. Now, the King of Winter is the King of Swords, so you could be still facing with some kind of, uh, facing some kind of legal decision. Uh, maybe that judgment comes in. Maybe the people that you've been dealing with on the legal front or, or people that you've been dealing with have been using very, very... Um, devious means in order for you, them to get their way so be careful uh, about who you trust with sensitive information there's certainly some legal decision coming over there something is coming in for you um, and you need to, to be um, uh, very careful as well about who you say what to and uh, it says here if you do need to get some kind of professional legal advice this is a very good time to get it as well so there's a judgment coming in over there uh for you and maybe you've been waiting for that uh there's a decision certainly with the two of winter because these are uh three sword cards so there's something legal that you can have to sort out uh, first before you start moving on you could even be signing some new contracts over there uh, but it seems like you might be moving on to another country and starting afresh somewhere else and that is going to be the thing that opens the doors for you uh, moving away from the situation so maybe physically even moving away like i said with that prince of swords you are certainly thinking about going somewhere else and this lion is sitting on this card so this is and you've got the strength card as well so you do need to hang in there uh and make your decision. You've got a lot of strength of character there. So hang in there. Uh, and again, she's looking to the future to make the decision. Uh, and think about yourself first. Uh, you know, because you've got that sign of Leo. Leo is about self-worth. Realize your self-worth. And make your decision based on what's going to be beneficial for you. And not anybody else. 